Yo, what's up with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, and fanboys and fangirls, as always. I'll talk to the Geek out there. This is Nintendo Sony for 2011. It came Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are interested in Trojan Hunters towards this channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all the good stuff. Man, oh fucking man, we have so much shit to talk about to fucking day. Just came back from work about an hour ago. Only reason I'm hyped up is because I just heard about this. It was like 7, 8. 9, maybe 10 o'clock, I don't know, somewhere in the morning, but it was definitely right after I got up, when I got out of work, right after I ended up starting work, so I had no idea about this news until literally an hour ago. This is still fairly new to me, and I saw a bunch of YouTube videos, and my Twitter and my fucking Instagram was blown up with all this news, news information about, like, four brand new Pokemon, really three, because one of them we've already seen, and that's little quirky dog electric dog Pokemon, the Amper. We already saw a couple weeks ago. That one was already shown to us before when the whole E3 Nintendo Direct Treehouse was going on. So um, that one's not new. But for people that are, I guess, casuals or don't get into any of this news extra leaks information like how I do or official information, they probably didn't know that until today. So um, I was actually originally going to talk about just two other off-topic things about some Sony, Microsoft, some extra anime manga news or any extra crazy controversial bullshit news that involves video games. I was going to talk about that. And then um, some Yokai Watch news, which I don't even think I've ever talked about Yokai Watch ever on my channel. Maybe I did when it came out back in, like, I think it was 2014 or 15. I just always saw it as, like, a rip-off version of Pokemon. Except it's a lot more crazier. Kind of creepier and uglier looking with their little monster things compared to Pokemon. Anyways, it's more like an Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters, King of Monsters, Shaman King sort of level of monsters that they have in Yokai Watch. That's why I probably never liked it too much. I don't know. And I never even watched the anime series for it too, but I don't know. Without further ado, let's begin. I got two articles to read about you for um, the brand new trailer that was just shown a couple hours ago, which I'm surprised I'm actually even doing it today. I usually wait about a day or two, maybe three days, before I even get to this type of news that's brand new. But, um, this one here says from Brian Nenny from Nintendo Everything. Got to get credit for what do there. Shout out to him. Pokemon Sword and Shield trailers reveal new Pokemon. Giga, I think it's Gigan. Gigan Tamaxing? It's not Giga Maxing. It's Giga Tamaxing. I don't know. And new gym leaders. I already got a theory already. One of them. I think her name is Olita or Alina. She looks like she might be one of the new, um, Members for, like, the evil team organization. Maybe. Unless she's just another gym leader, too. I don't know. Maybe she's both. We kind of saw that happen already when Generation 6 X and Y was out at the time. When we found out that um Malva, that used to work for um Team Flare, she ended up being one of the Elite Four members later on. Because she didn't want to live, like, a real bad evil lifestyle anymore. She wanted to live a legit life after that. I don't know. So it might be the same case with this gym leader trick. I don't know. Maybe she used to be a part of the evil team organization for whatever it's going to be called here in the gallery region for Gen 8. Or she was a good person the whole time. I don't know. But I guarantee you by the end of this day or another day or two, there's probably going to be about three, maybe 400. Very, very, very saucy. Very sexualized Rule 34 of all three of these female gym, gym leaders. I can guarantee you right off the bat. That's probably happening right now as I speak. They're probably drawing lots of Rule 34 for this shit. For all three of these chicks. Which I'll get to those in a second. I just want to talk about these for now. If um, you don't want to see my Yokai Watch news, you don't have to wait the last three or four minutes of this video. It's mainly going to be about this. So, let's get it started. So, it says the Pokemon Company. Oh, yeah. Links to the videos down below if you didn't see it like how I did. Pokemon Company just released the trailers. It's latest trailers for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're getting introduced to a bunch of elementals here, or elements here, including new Pokemon, Gigan, Tamaxing, and <clears throat> new gym leaders. Alcream, I think that's how you say her name. Alcreamy, Roly Coley, and Duraladen. I think that's how you say these brand new um, Pokemon's names, as, as if any people have seen it yet. I don't know if you have. Links down below, like I just said a couple seconds ago, but let's continue. <clears throat> Are including new Pokemon. Da, 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 I just read that. Are the latest creatures. There we go. The Emperor has also been officially revealed following its appearance in D3. Because everyone already knew about that one already. As far as the new characters go. Oh, and by the way, Emperor, I feel like out of these three, 
I think Al Creamy or Al Cream and um, the Emperor are probably going to have a lot of plushies and Build a Bear Workshop merchandise made off of these two. I don't know about the other two. They'll probably just be really, really cool figurines or something of that nature. Who knows? I guarantee you the TCG for them are going to look badass as fuck, though. As far as the new characters go, we see Chairman Rose and Olina for the first time. The fighting type expert, Baya, I think it's Baya or Bay. It's probably going to be Bay. And ghost type expert, Alistair, are the new gym leaders. Finally, G Giga Tamaxing. I think it's Giga Tamaxing. I don't know. I'm just going to call it Giga Maxing. It's a lot more easier. Has been shown off. To which changes the size and appearance of Pokemon. Below are the new trailers. And those that go yourself. These are the original Japanese and English ones, so links down below for that. But yeah, um, as far as everything else goes, um, I think Giga Tamaxing, I feel like in my own personal thoughts, views, and opinions on it, I feel like that's probably only gonna be exclusive for all the Gala region generation eight Pokemon. I don't think because if any people heard a couple weeks ago last month, or I think the month before May, so about a month or two ago, there was already a bunch of leaks saying that I think they said Lapras, Farfetch, and then another Pokemon like Flygon or maybe Milotic. And I think like a pre-baby evolution or a second split evolution of Meowth was going to end up being for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm not sure if those rumors are still true or not. They might be because we haven't heard any confirmation on that. But let's read it from Nintendo Wire, which it's been almost, I think, nine, ten months the last time I even read anything from Nintendo Wire. So um, got to get credit, credit is due this guy right here. Shout out to... um. Daniel Del Correno. I think he's a Latino dude. I don't know. So shout out to him for making this um, article here. Link's down below. If you want to read this yourself. So it says, a new trailer. This is probably the same thing as before, but I'm going to read it anyways. For a Nintendo Switch game, Pokemon Sword and Shield drop, showing off several new Pokemon. There's actually only four. There wasn't seven. I don't know. Including gym leaders and Gyna to Maxim. Giga to Maxim. Mechanics. Each of the new game mechanics are called Giga to Maxing Changes for the game in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Runs just over two minutes. Oh, and these are the brand new ones I wanted to show you. This one looks like it's going to be like, I know it's a fairy type. I guarantee you the art for these two and the merchandise, like I said before, it's probably going to be real big. If Build-A-Bear Workshop works with, works with the Pokemon Company and um, Game Freak, they might make an they may end up making their own exclusive little plush for these. These two, like I was saying before, this is the Roly Coley one and then Doralata. I still have a hard time thinking this is a dragon type. This looks more like an ice steel type, more than a dragon type to me. Or maybe an ice psychic or ice fighting or steel fighting. It doesn't really look that much like a dragon type. When it opens its mouth, it looks like a dragon type, though, in my own opinion. Because I already saw this thing attacks. He uses this big ass mount to use like a hyper beam attack or ice beam or something. I don't know. Alright, so yeah, like I said before, these are the original names for it. So there's Al Creamy or Al Cream, however you say that name. Roly Coley. This is the Roly Coley one. It looks like it could have been a dark rock type or a dark steel or a rock steel. I can't really believe this is just only a rock type. That's weird. Looks like an evil version of like that mini Pokemon that was in Sun and Moon not too long ago. The Emperor's an electric type Pokemon with the ability Ball Fetch. Al Creamy is a fairy type with the ability Sweet Veil. Roly Coley is a rock type Pokemon with the ability Steam Engine and Heat Proof. Heat Proof's already an old ability. Steam Engine's completely da damn brand new ability. And Dora Ludin, or Dora Ladin, however you say that name, is a Steel Dragon type Pokemon with the abilities Light Metal and Heavy Metal. I think Heavy Metal might have been like a TCG ability move from the trading cards and Light Metal too. So this might be the first time it's in the official games. Because I've heard of this ability before in TCG, but I haven't seen it in the official games at all. So maybe Heavy Metal might be like, um, well, I'm thinking about an attack. That's Heavy Slam, never mind. Let's move on. New characters. This is where it gets juicy here. Like I said, these three, I guarantee you they're going to have Rule 34 by the time this day is up automatically for my younger viewers please don't look that shit up <laughs> unless you want to be a pervert fuck like i am anyways let's move on four new characters were also introduced i'm probably gonna butcher these names because it's the first time we're seeing them ever olina bay and alistair and the chairman rose i wonder if he's like the father or grandfather of that one chick that was in diamond pearl and platinum i think she had made her debut in platinum i think her name was delilah or dahlia 
She was like an Arabic Middle Eastern looking Battle Frontier brain girl. If any people don't remember who, who she is, I'll leave a picture down below. You'll know who, she, you'll know who I'm talking about. Bea and Alistar are gym leaders, and although they're both versions exclusives, Bea is a fighting type leader, is exclusive to Pokemon Sword, and ghost type gym leader Alistar is exclusive to Pokemon Shield. Oh, that's the first time they do that. They never split gym leaders apart in certain exclusive games, so that's new. At least I know I'm going to fight both of them because I'm getting both the games still. Giga to Maxim. Or Giga Maxim, however you say that. Biggest pun intended. Of all the new Giga to Maxing features changes when this Pokemon size and appearances. Dreadnought and new Pokemon Alcremie appear in the new trailer Super, si Super Size Giga Maxing with brand new looks. According to the Cerebi.net, Joe Merrick, when I made that one, Giga to Maxing boosts the power of Dynamaxing and even Giga to Max. It also has a G Max move. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Are set to release worldwide Friday, November 15, 2019. Check the trailer below and let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions? Oh, man. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> I still can't even get over how much shit I'm going to be looking at this later on. This one, I swear, she looks like she could be the leader of the evil team organization instead of a gym leader. I have a feeling she may end up being that. I'm just, I'm predicting that she may be like the ex-team leader of whatever the Gala Regents Evil Team organization is going to be. So we still don't have no news about that yet. Maybe in August or September, October, one of those three months, we'll get a news confirmation to see who's the Evil Team organization is going to be. A lot of people still say the Elite Four champion is going to be the leader of the Evil Team organization for Sword and Shield. I don't know about that. He looks too friendly and nice to do that, especially his little brother. And yeah, Alistair, I don't know. I still can't tell. I'm not sure if this is a girl or boy. It might be a girl. Uh, I really don't like the name that they gave it. I'm not going to get the explanations why because I don't want my channel to get shut down because of conspiracy theories and shit like that. But I do like her design. Her design looks pretty badass. Or his design. I can't, still can't tell if this is a dude or trick. It might be a girl. Maybe. Looks like some Naruto Shippuden or Naruto Boruto looking character from one of those anime series from Shonen Jump. I don't know. One of those older characters from the Bleach series that used to be like the Espada. Like the Aranke, Evil, not the Soul Society. Those are the good ones. Actually, it kind of reminds me of a little bit. Now let's get to the less important news because I really don't care too much about Yokai Watch. But any Yokai Watch fans that are still out there listening to my video, thank you very much in advance. I'm not going to get too much into this, but I'll read a little bit of it. Yokai Watch 4 Switch Western localization confirmed by level 5. This comes from RGC. Shout out to him. During the Anime Expo 2019, Level 5 surprisingly revealed that Yokai Watch will be localized in Nintendo Switch in the West after being released in Japan. Sadly, Level 5 doesn't talk about the Yokai Watch 4 will be released in the West, and there was also no footage from the localized version shown online as photos were not allowed in the panel. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below. So, there goes a tweet so you can read it. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions, like I said before, I'll say it again. I really don't give too much of a shit about Yokai Watch. I just feel like it was more of a ripoff thing of what Pokemon and Digimon were, and they still are today. But yeah, I still haven't watched the anime. Maybe one day I'll probably get into the anime for Yokai Watch. I don't know if it's any good. I might get bored as fuck of it really quick. I'm not sure. So I don't know if it was either 2013 or 14, maybe 2015 when this game came out. I just. I never really resonated with me. I never really had too much interest in it. Maybe if I would have been a kid right now, maybe 8, 9, 10 years old right now, I probably would have loved the absolute shit out of Yokai Watch. But since, you know, I'm not a kid anymore and I'm 30 years old now, I could give less of a crap about this. Unless you have kids at home or teenagers at home, you, they might be into Yokai Watch. More power to them. That's amazing. That's awesome. You could be into whatever you're into as long as it's legal and it's not against the law. That's all I'm saying. Other than that, that's all I said for now. I am telling you right now, my God. If they have any, like, Amiibo versions for any of these three chicks, I would love to get an Amiibo version of any of these three. Or if they end up being, like, a fucking EX or GX full art in TCG, I hope I get one of them as a TCG full art. That would be badass as fuck. That's all I got to say for now, and I'm out of here. Peace out once again. Once again, lowly, great bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And as always, the Takas and Kimonis. I'll see you when I see you. You guys have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're at in the universe out there. Stay tuned more future content in this video, including anime manga news, internet news, video game industry news, and that's it.
Peace out, my sauerkraut. Late in the bio. See y'all on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm gone. Later's in the